Thank you, Jesus. Lord, uh, tonight, there's some people here that need miracles. And since I'm out of miracles, in fact, I never had any, we're going to be looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And we're going to be looking to him for miracles. And we're not going to be looking at anybody else, period. Absolutely not, under any circumstances. Will we deviate from the Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God? Lord, I thank you for sending the Holy Spirit here tonight, the one and only. When he shows up, anything can happen. Anything can happen. I apologize, Lord, I went in a little bit too long tonight, but tonight, each person here is going to renew their mind and they're going to take these negative thoughts captive and the spirits in their brain giving them these thoughts, they are going to cast out tonight and they're going to become a new creation in Christ. That's what's going to happen. Every single person. Now, if you're being tormented with thoughts, maybe not as bad as this gal from the Dream Center, but you've been putting up with it for years, I want you to come down here. We're going to teach these demons a lesson in Jesus' mighty name. All right? Come down here, sweetheart. Anybody here having trouble controlling the thoughts in their mind? You've had it since you were a kid. You had it since your first marriage. You had it uh, when you were, it started when you got abused when you were young. It started when you were being bullied in school. It started real bad when you started drinking. You started taking drugs and you noticed a change in your mind. Uh, you're a very intelligent person and you started drifting. You started drifting around in your mind, daydreaming. Your mind started leaving you and now suddenly it does it automatically. It just suddenly starts going that direction. The devil got you. He's blocking your anointing. Come out, devil. <clears throat> He's blocking your anointing and your destiny by attacking you in your mind, just like King David, just like Eve. He attacks people in their mind. And tonight, you have the authority in Christ, according to the Word of God, to cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. All right, now. Just close your eyes here. We gotta take a big breath. I know. I know it's hard. He's right in there. There he is, right there. Come on out now. Let's go. Come on out of her. You heard her confession over there. You gotta come out. Let's go. Stop stalling. Come out of there, you witch. Now, come out right now. Come on out. Every ugly man, all the bad men, all the disappoint. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. All the bad disappointments, all the heartaches, all the disappointments, they're all right down here, right in those organs right there. All the heartache, all the disappointment. I'm going to release it tonight. Take a breath and blow. Take a big breath. Come out of there. Come out, devil. Come on out. Come out. Keep coughing. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Come on. Just let all these fear thoughts, fear thoughts, fear of the future, all the bad memories, all the bad memories, all the bad memories. We're going to release them right now. The Holy Ghost is moving now. Step into the river now. Come on now. Step in. I let thee breathe. Breathe out of your mouth. Breathe out of your mouth. Come on now. Spirit, come out of her lungs right now. Come out of there right now. Quickly. I renounce you, you spirit. You seducing spirit in my brain. I bind your power. I bind your power. I command you to come out. Come out of my body right this second. Come on. Right there. All these years of disappointments. Years of disappointments. Come on. Breathe. Take a breath and blow. Breathe. Come on. Blow. Blow like that. Come on, come on out, spirit. Come on, stop putting fear thoughts in her mind. You're doing it right now. Stop that. Stop putting fear thoughts in her mind. Stop it out. Come on out. Hurry up. Come on. Take a big breath. Come on out, devil. Come on out right now. Come out of that body right now. Come out of the woman of God. 
all the abuse all the abuse all the verbal abuse all the bullying making fun of her running her down criticizing her i heard it all i heard it all now it leaves tonight come on out come out of her throat right now come out of that throat come out spirit come on out quickly come on out right now come out right now come out right now come out right now, out right now. low self-esteem Low self-concept. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come on out. <clears throat> Come on out. Come out of there. Come out right now. Come out right now. Take a breath and blow. Take a breath. Breathe. Spirit, come out of this. Demon of fear and rejection. Low self-esteem. Self-hatred. Come out right now. Self-hatred. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of there right now. Come out of there right now. Quickly. Come out. I release this evil spirit from my throat right now. All the adultery. All the bad men. All the rejection. All the people that made fun of me. All the people that turned their back on me. All them people that turned their back on me, right there. All that fear got in. All that fear, right there. I command you to come out of me right now. Say that. In Jesus' name. a girl. Say it. Come on now. Come on now. Every ugly man that ever abused me. Sexual abuse. Verbal abuse. Spirit, come out of her right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out of there, you child abuser. Hurry up. Come out of there right now, you child abuser. Come on. Let's go. Quickly. Come out right now. Spirit, come out of here. Oh, there we go. Come out right now. Come out of that body right now. Quickly. Come out of her tummy. There it is right there. Come out of her tummy right now. Come on. There it is. Let your tears go. Hurry. Let them go. Heal her, Lord Jesus. Heal. Heal, Holy Spirit. Heal now. Heal her right now, Lord. Heal right now. Heal her right now, Lord. Heal her right now. Take a big breath and blow. Come on. I command this self-rejection to come out of me. Self-hatred. Come out of my lungs right now. I command this demon of food to let me go right this second. Come out of there. You're not going to give me diabetes and high blood pressure. Come out right now in the name of the Lord. Come out right now in Jesus' holy name. Come out of there. Hurry up. Come on out. Hurry up right now. Come out of there. Come out right now. Right here. Who's it? What's wrong with this girl? You know her? I'm a little bit. You know her? Come on. What's wrong with you, hon? What's wrong with you? Come on now. You're not supposed to be mentally ill anymore. You're supposed to attack them viciously and fight. You hear me? Come on now. You're supposed to fight. Come out of there, Pharaoh. Right now. Come out, Pharaoh. What's in there? I got really offended a week ago at work. Yelled at a client. Almost got in a fist fight. Lost friends. Pretty much my business. Okay. Extremely disturbed and angry. I had flies in my house recently. Financial problems. A lot of things coming in my finances. Yeah. Uh, you're getting a, a full court press. Yes. Devil. Yeah. I met the Lord. All right. Now, that's all forgivable. Close your eyes. Take a big breath. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. Yeah, there he is. Keep coughing. Come on out. Come on out of there. Come out. Get out of the body. There he is. Come out of the body right now. Just come out of me. Stop cursing his finances. Stop it. Stop cursing him right now. You demon of anger. Anger. Come out of the body right now. Hurry up. Quickly, quickly, hold that. Come out right now. Get out of that body. Go. You're not supposed to be sick anymore. Satan, come out of me. Come on now. Scream at him. No, come on. Scream at him right now. Come on now. Scream at him. Satan, come out. Satan, come out. Scream at him like me. Scream like me. Satan, come out. What's wrong with you? 
it's my daughter. That's why I'm here to pray for her. What's wrong with your daughter? She's was born, I think, with the, the devil's spirit because I saw a change in her eyes when she was born. And she was hanging out for her life. She's still alive now? She won't talk to me. She kills me. Okay, now. I want to pray for her. Yeah, I've had a thousand. I'm okay. I just don't know what no. to do about her. No, you're not okay. Now, I've already gone through this a thousand times. Your daughter's not going to get healed unless you let her go. I have to go. No, you haven't. The pain is still here. What's her name? Daniela. All right, ready? Close your eyes. Let your tears go. Father God, I ask you to forgive me for carrying around my daughter, worrying about her, fearing for her future, fearing what the devil is going to do to her. I ask you to forgive me for that. It's blocking her healing. And tonight, I must release my daughter from my soul and place her in your loving hands. I have to repent of this. I cannot carry this baggage anymore. I cannot carry this baggage anymore. I'm going to repent of it right now in the name of Jesus. Sweetheart, I love you, but I've got to let you go. Breathe. Big breath. Big breath. Let her go. Breathe. Good. Breathe again. I let my daughter go. I repent of the sin of worry. I repent of my sins, worrying, worrying, fearing for her. I repent of that sin. I repent of that sin. Come on now. She's not going to get healed until you release her. He won't do anything if you're still hanging on. You're blocking her healing. Now come on now. Let her. You can trust him, right? Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean to your own understanding. You're leaning on your own understanding. My daughter won't talk to me. I can't help her. She won't listen to me. Now come on, let's go. Just repent of it. Repent of it right now. I'll repent. Come on, sweetie. Good girl. Do it. Good, good, good. Good. Come out of there. Good, good, good. Good. Keep going. Come out, Satan. Come out of there right now. Meth. Meth. Come out. I let my daughter go now. Satan, you've had her by the throat. You've used me. You're not using me anymore. She won't let her daughter go. Get out of that body right now. Come out of there, Satan. Come on. You meth demons, come out right now. You meth demons, come out of that body right now. Hurry up. Come out right now. The demon that growls, come out. Take a breath and blow. Blow. Come out. You growler, come out. Stop touching her skin. Stop that. Come out. Come out right now. Quickly. Come out quickly. Witchcraft and sorcery. Drugs. Meth. Come out of that body right now. Come out right now. Healing energies. Come out right now. Healing oils. Come out right now. Come out right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, just repent of it. Just repent of it. Just repent of it. There you go. Keep yawning. Good. Keep yawning. Come on, keep fighting. Quickly keep fighting. Use your free will. Use your free will. You devil, you get out of my stomach right now. Come out of my bowels. Come out of my gallbladder. Come out of my liver. Go. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come out in Jesus' holy name. Come on, use your free will. Use your free will. Come on, step up. I command you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. To come out right now. I played the, the Ouija when I was a child. Do you think that I... Yeah, like something got in. But after I accepted Jesus, I suppose when I accepted Jesus Christ, all the past is gone. It's mm. they give us, right? Sometimes they go, your sin was forgiven, but he's probably still hiding in there. 
The sin is different from the demon. You were forgiven of your sin. Okay, but the, it, you were forgiven. So what can I do with what? No, you got to cast the demon out. Out. Yeah, you can have a demon and be forgiven. In fact, look around the room. There's a bunch of Christian here. They're all forgiven. But they got to get the spirit out. The demons are in your body. Right here. In the body. They're not in your spirit. But I don't lose my salvation. I you don't what? lose my salvation. No, you're saved. No, you can't lose your salvation. They're demons. No. You're, you're washed in the blood. They are now my body, my health. Your body. My health, they are yeah, you're attacking your health. Right. That's exactly right. You got it. Huh? Try it. Put your hand here. You spirit, spirit, I command you in Jesus' name. You come out of me now. And what's wrong with you, sweetheart? Um, like I was saying, I'm having like, uh, like sleep paralysis as well. But like I was wondering that um, if no iron anemia is a is a spirit of infirmity behind that because throughout the day I'm just like tired. Yeah. Especially when I'm trying to get on the word. Um, I I end up falling asleep. But even throughout the day I'm just yeah. like very sleepy. Yeah. So. That's them. That's it. That's yeah. Yeah. They ready? Come on up here. Ready? Right. Now put your hands up here. There you go. Now just repeat after me, spirit. You seducing spirit in my brain, I command you in Jesus' mighty name to come out of my body. There he is. See him jump? Come out. I take a breath and blow. Come out. Come on out, devil. Come out, devil. Come out. The fear demon. That's a fear. There he is. Whoa. That's him right there. Go. Get out of my body right now. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Come out. <coughs> Come out. <coughs> Tell him to come out. Come out. Get out of there. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Come out. Come out. Get out of my body right now. Come out. Come out of my throat. Right now. Come out. <laughs> Come out of there. All these years of misery and sorrow. Come out. You get out of my head right this second. In Jesus' holy name. You get out of my head right this second. Go. Get out of my head right this second. Go. Go. Get out of my body right now. There he is. You demon of fear, come out of her. You demon of fear, you come out of her right now. Quickly. Go. Get out of her mind. Get out of my mind. Come out of my mind right now and go in Jesus' name. Good girl. Good girl. Come out right now. Come out quickly. There. there. Keep coughing. Take a big cough. Good. Keep coughing. There. Keep going. Come on. Come on. You hold that. Come out right now. Come out. Keep coughing. Come out right now. There you go. Good. Come out of her stomach. Come out of her back. Good. Keep coughing. They're coming out now. Go. Come out, spirit. Come out, spirit. Huh? Yeah. They're coming out through your lungs. Yep. Go. You fear, demon, I bind your power. You fear. Come out right now. Get out of my body, you demon of fear. I bind your power. Come out. In Jesus' holy name. Go now. Go now. There you go. I let my mother go. Come out right now, quickly. Come on, don't stop. Come out of my body right now. Drugs, adultery, lesbianism. 
anger, rage. Come out in Jesus' name. <laughs> Come out right now. Come out. <coughs> Come out right now. Go. Come out of my body. Come out of my body right now. Get out of my legs. Come out. Sexual sin. Sexual immorality. Drugs. Alcohol. Go. Go now. Come out. Come out right now. Quickly. You just get mad at him. Get mad at him. Force him out. You have any sin you got to repent of? Just go ahead right now. Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for what I've done. Say it. Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry for what I've done. Just say it. Come on now. Just say it. Just repent of it. Quickly. Quickly repent. Quickly. You want a Ouija board. Ouija board. Ouija board. You... You destroyed your life on a Ouija board. You on a Ouija board? You bought the farm. You got to repent now. Did you get a reading? Did you get a reading? You better repent now, quickly. Did you get a reading? Did you go to a psychic? You went to a psychic? You got to be kidding me. You bought the farm when you went to the psychic. You're going to get a terminal illness and you're going to die early and ugly. You went to a psychic, you in big trouble. Big trouble. Thus saith the Lord, there shall not be found among you anyone, anyone who is a fortune teller, anyone who is a necromancer, Anyone who has familiar spirits, anyone who's involved in sorcery, Deuteronomy chapter 18, there shall not be found among you anyone, anyone, fortune telling, necromancy, talking to the dead. Come on now, just repent of it. If you got involved with witchcraft, it's, friend, you're in deep trouble. You have no idea what's going to hit you. Just repent of it. Come on now. We're looking to Jesus, the Son of God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. There's a mother at the altar here in tears. The devil took her daughter. He took her daughter. He took her mind. He won't even allow her to talk to her mother anymore. Well, tonight that curse is being broken. We are releasing that daughter into the hands of the Lord. And her mother, of her own free will, is releasing her daughter. All the pain, all the loneliness, all the sadness, all the sorrow of her daughter's life must be removed come on mothers come on mothers youtubers are you a mother the devil loves to use mother's love the devil loves to use a mother's love he turns it into codependency he turns it into anxiety he turns it into fear just repent of it right now. I release my daughter and my son to the Lord and I let them go. Come on now. You're like King Jehoshaphat, right? You're like him. Lord God, Lord God, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon thee. Our eyes are upon thee. We don't know what to do. 
we can't fix it. But our eyes are upon thee. All right, now we're going into phase two here. This is when you really start fighting. This is when you take command. <coughs> you take command of the devil now. You don't ask him. You don't pray about it. You don't pray about it. You don't ask. You tell him. I command you, Satan, you demon of meth. Meth is the worst drug you can take to pick up demons. If you want to pick up demons fast and furious, you get on meth. It's the worst drug there is. If you've been on meth, you better get down here quickly. Your future is bleak. Demon of drugs. Demon of alcohol. Demon of fornication and adultery. Anal sex. Oral sex. Homosex. Lesbianism. All of it. Every spirit that transferred in through sexual perversion must leave you tonight. You've repented of it. You asked God to forgive you for it, and He did. You repented of it, and you asked for forgiveness, and He forgave you. He forgave you. Now, you must remove the demons. You have the authority and the power from God to do it. Are, do you have low self-esteem? And the demon tells you to eat for comfort. You eat food and eat for comfort. When you get anxious, when you get worried, when you're afraid, you go eat food. That's a trick of the devil. He's trying to get you to use food as a comfort and not use the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, the Lord said. The comforter, the Holy Ghost, is your comforter. Not food, not drugs, not alcohol. Come down and repent of it. Come down and repent of it. I repent of using food and chemicals and alcohol and anything else to be my comforter. I repent of it. I want freedom tonight. Freedom tonight. Keep coughing. Come out of there, devil. Come out of there, devil. Sometimes the spirits come out through coughing, burping, different things like that. Don't worry about that. Just keep doing it and focus on repenting and casting out the spirits. If you cursed your life and you said horrible things about yourself and you put a self-curse on you, you can repent of it tonight and renounce it and break that curse off of you. You can do it tonight. You can do it tonight. Lord God, I ask you in Jesus' name to forgive me for saying horrible things about myself. Forgive me for running myself down and criticizing myself. Forgive me for looking at me ugly, looking at me. I wish I could have plastic surgery. I wish I could lose 50 pounds. I wish I was beautiful. I wish this. I wish that. Repent of it. Come down here and repent of that. Come out here. All your wishes. Bring all your wishes down here and repent of them. Wishes never did anybody any good. Wishes don't work. Faith works. Faith works. Wishes don't work. Wishing doesn't work. Faith works. Just repent of it. Wishing for stuff. I wish this were better. I wish I'd have been raised in a better family. I wish I had some friends. I wish I'd have been more educated. I wish I would have had a better husband. I wish I would have had a better wife. Repent of it. Come down here and repent of it. Wishes do nobody any good. As my grandpa used to say, if wishes were horses, we'd all take a ride. Wishes are useless. Wishes has no power. Faith has power. Faith has power. Wishes have nothing. Wishes are useless. Faith in the Word of God. Faith in the blood of Christ has supernatural power. Now, if you can speak in tongues, just wave at me. Can you speak in tongues? Wave at Brother Mike. Give me a wave. There's a couple. All right, now ready to follow me now. Ready, let's go. Rimo shava yondo roveruria. Come on, let's sing the Lord of Love song and tell him we love him. 
Well, singing in tongues, singing in tongues is the highest form of worship a human being can do. Singing in tongues. Now let's sing with me. Ready? If you cannot speak in tongues, just follow me. Just repeat after me. Just speak it out. I just sang this sort of love song. I sang him a song of thanksgiving. You know what I was thanking him for? You! Coming down here and praying. If you cannot sing in tongues, just follow me. Just, be, just follow what I'm saying. Come on, sing it out and make sure the devil can hear you. Make sure he has to live. He wants you to listen to him all the time. Well, tonight he listens to us. The shoe, as Grandpa used to say, is on the other foot tonight. Now, we don't need any angels here singing. We don't need any angels. We got you here. God, doesn't, God hears angels all the time. That's run of the mill. This is important. You are important, not an angel. You just got to sing it out. Follow me. Come on. Sing it out. Uh, you're not supposed to understand. You're not supposed to. No, it's 1 Corinthians 14. We're singing directly to God. We don't understand what we're saying. That's normal. You're perfectly normal. You read that? Okay, we well, should have known that. <laughs> if I had a bucket of water, I'd throw it on you. Okay, you follow me. <laughs> Come on. I don't understand what I'm saying. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. It's 1 Corinthians 14. You don't understand what you're saying. You're speaking directly. He's interpreting it. When you speak in tongue, God interprets what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying. That's normal. That's the way it works. <laughs> you speak it out by faith. See, everything is faith-based. It's faith-based. All right, ready? Let's go. At the end of the service, I like to sing in tongues. That way, uh, most of the people leave. And you're left with the hardcore worshipers. Yeah? As soon as I start singing in tongues, people bolt for the door. That's good. You want to get them out so the praisers will stay. See that? See that? People think I don't think. Oh, they're wrong. I'm a thinker. That's how you do it. You just release it in love. Try it. Try singing in love. All right, you're not singing in tongues. Try it in English then. I love you, Lord. I give you praise, oh Lord. I'm singing English right now. That's English. That's glossa. That's tongues. Mix it up like a big league pitcher. Mix it up. Strikes, fastballs, change up. 
I love you, Lord. I give you praise, dear Lord. I give you glory. Porra veshe, yolo moshava. Onde reve, adori. What's your name? Alan. Alan, look, you got the anointing. I see you. I'm standing over there watching you, and the demons are coming out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your, 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 your uh, push is, you're not banging this thing. Push it. You tell that devil to come out of there right now. Tell him to come out. Get out. There you go. Good. That's how you do it. Good. Fight harder. Hey, I'll, I'll let YouTubers, I'll let you know a secret. It's a secret. If you want to sleep like a log at night, sing in tongues while you're in bed just before you drop off. Start singing in tongues. The devil will freak. He'll put you to sleep so fast you're, you won't even believe it. You won't even believe it. Sing, sing at night in your bed. Well, I can't sing in tongues, brother. Okay, well, just speak in tongues then. YouTubers, listen to me. I developed a technique years ago. It's not in the Bible. I just made it up. It's called War Tongues, and it works almost every time. Not all, not all the time, but almost every time. What you do, you pick out something the devil has got in bondage, you, something he's doing to you or your family member, something he's got his stinking mitts into, and you just tell the Lord, Lord, I'm going to break that curse off my daughter, my spouse, my kid. I'm going I'm to stop this bondage right now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to use my war tongues. I will use my war tongues to beat this thing. Ready? You just tell the Lord what it is, and you tell him what you're going to do, then you do it. Bang! I command you to break. Break off my daughter. Just like that. War tongues. You let it blast out. You can feel it. You can feel it. You know? Step out by faith. Father God, I give you the praise tonight. Lord, we give you the praise tonight. Thank you, Jesus, Son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. King of kings, Lord of lords, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. Hallelujah. I'm tired of living a mediocre Christian life. I'm sick of it. I want to help people like you did, Lord. I want to help people just like you. I want to do it. I want to do it. I really do. I want to help people. I want to help people. That's the heart of God, helping people. That's what he likes the most. It really is. I can prove it to you. The dying leper. Blind Barnabas. The two blind men. The woman with cervix cancer, an issue of blood. All of them. All of them. They had something most Christians don't. What is it? A determination for a miracle. Desperation for a miracle. Most Christians don't have that. But if you get it, you're like Brother Jarius. Your daughter comes home. You're like the centurion. Your son comes home. They were desperate for miracles from God. They weren't casual Christians. They just didn't sit in church. Nobody bought that back then. They pushed their way in. They push their way in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's how you get a miracle. You push your way in. Yeah. Isn't that why you get a miracle? 
Sure, it sure is. Are you a thief? The way to get a lot of good products is to force your way into the building and steal a bunch of stuff. The places are usually locked. You got to break in and force your way in. Well, in the spirit world, you got to do the same thing. You got to break in and push your way in. That's how it works. I'll prove it to you. One more with the issue of blood. <laughs> blind, blind Bartimaeus. Two, two blind men. The dying leper. Come on. <laughs> I'm proving it to you. you know. I can read. I read it. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We win. It's all written in red. Behold, I give you power to tread on scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will hurt you. These signs shall follow those who believe. In my name they shall cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. That's a new tongue for me. They will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover yeah or roberts was laying in a bed when he was a boy dying of tuberculosis tuberculosis was big back in the 40s it was big now it's nothing back then huge he's dying in bed His family had been praying for him. They left him alone to die in peace. And the Lord spoke to him. He said, I'm going to heal your body and you're going to take my healing power to your generation. Or Roberts got healed in bed of tuberculosis. Got up, went in the kitchen, perfectly normal. Shortly after that, the devil started putting thoughts in his mind. He needed to go to Bible college. He needed to pastor a church. He need, you need to work. You need some money. And he never prayed for a sick person for 14 years. 14 years. Wasted. Why? The tempter came and put thoughts, distraction. Busy with this, business, relationships, friends, people. Busy, busy, busy. 14 years gone. 14 years gone. He went to a friend's house. He went to a friend's house. One of his relatives dropped something on his foot at work and smashed his foot. And his friend was on the ground in the kitchen, writhing in agony, rolling back and forth. And Oral Roberts, 14 years later, went over to the guy. He felt so sorry for him. He had Compassion. Oral was a compassionate person. He's, he was very emotional. He saw that guy suffering. He just knelt down and put his hands on that guy's foot to kind of steady him, to pray, to ask, Lord, please bless him. And the guy's foot instantly was healed. Fourteen years wasted. That's a pretty big screw up. And God forgave him. God forgave him. 
like um, help me with like social anxiety. I, 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 I know, those I are just fear I demons. Close. I, I'm not really good in, in public, you know. Yeah, but the, now when did that start? Yeah, you do. When when did you start having anxiety as a kid? Oh wow! What happened to you? It's just too much to go into. Well, initially, the first thing, who hurt you? The first one. It's just too much. I don't want to go in there. Like, I don't have the time to discuss that. But can you? Okay, just 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 shortly. What did he do to you? Okay, now listen. Now listen to me for a second. You can't get healed, okay? What happened was, when you was little, that person hurt you, and that anxiety, fear demon jumped in you, and he's still in there. And you have social anxiety disorder. It's called SAD. Right? No, you're too, you're too fearful to be bold. You're like under the covers. You're like buried. Yeah, it started as a kid. Started. Can you come in for a counseling appointment? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Can you come in next week? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, come here for a minute. Well, come on in here. Hey, will you stay around for a minute? I want to talk to you. Hey, uh, would you give one of my cards? Here, Lori will give you a card. Will you call me tonight? Okay. I'll get you on the counseling schedule, okay? And then once that's out of there, you'll be fine. Yeah, you call there tonight. Yeah, and tell me, tell me who you were so I'll remember you, okay? Christy. Christy You're Christy? Christy? Okay. Cruz. All right. And then we'll put you on the counseling schedule next week, okay? Okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Love you. See you tomorrow. Okay. What are you doing in here? What's going on with you? Uh, now, listen, you're an intelligent person, mm -hmm. aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and you're also street smart. So you look around the room, you can kind of read everything going on. Yeah. 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 But spiritually, you're... Yeah. Well, you know why? I'm newly born again. Okay. You're newly born again? Oh, that's great. Stay right there. I got to give you something. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Six o'clock. Sorry. I just want to say hello. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. <clears throat> You're newly born again? Yes. Oh, that's great. Now, this will save you years of pain. Thank you. Years of trouble. I'm That'll you. save you. Early. See? Yes. yes. Oh, Thanks. wow. That's right. <clears throat> now, all you got to do is uh, learn to relax. Okay. Yeah? Because... People that are uh, have higher IQs, they they're able to think quicker than other people, and they and they kind of overprocess spiritual things. Yeah. They almost they think too much, and miracles don't come from think thinking or human intelligence. They come from childlike faith here in your heart. Yeah. It's like a kid, right? That's how you get a miracle. I've had to throw away my smarts. To, to well, not throw it away, but. <laughs> I just kind of learned to. I've had to just be like, okay, anyways. Yeah. Ignore it. Yeah. Overthinking yeah. spiritual things right. kind of kills them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the problem. You're very bright. Thank you. Yeah. It's good and bad. <laughs> it's good and bad. Exactly. It's good and bad. It's good and bad. But once you learn it, once you learn to control it, it's very good. I asked you the question of how do you not become paranoid? Because when I was at the session yesterday, I learned about like the faith Holy Spirit. And I feel like I experienced. How'd you get him? By, I, I was in New Age, and then I went into a oh, gosh. church. Oh, no. And then okay. it was, like, really about, like, the, how you're feeling. Yeah. All this stuff. So I didn't yeah. know there could be, like, demonic tongues. Oh, yeah. 
to like the false Holy Spirit. So did you I, repent of all that? I did. I did. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. And do you speak in tongues? I do. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Close your eyes there and just relax your mind. Take a big breath there. All right. Let's go. Good. Louder. There you go. And you're going to tell him you love him now. Good. Louder. 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 Good girl. Good. 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 Louder. Good. Good. Okay, now let's switch over to singing. Sing. How'd that feel? I've never sang it really before. Hmm? I've never sang it before. How'd that feel when you're singing? Okay. Good? Yeah, good, I think good. Were you thinking about anything? Not really, no. Oh, good. Okay. Now, your tongues is uh, good, but it sounds a little stale. Yeah. Almost like it hasn't been used. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you got to repent of that because here's how God does it. Um, if he gives somebody a gift and they don't use it, they usually don't get a second one okay. not to use. Okay. That's how he kind of uses it. So if he gives them one gift, he keeps an eye on them and sees how they handle it. Okay. And then he starts cranking more in. Okay. That makes sense. That's how he does it. Yeah. Okay. So what you were doing, here's a scriptural basis for your tongues. Okay. And then you just follow these steps and it has to be done every day. Okay. Okay, you have a nice gift of tongue, but it's a little on the stale side. Yeah, that makes we sense. We got to get it to cr yeah, flow don't really like that. Don't use it that much. All right, yeah. and then this will save you years of suffering. Okay. okay? Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Love you. Thank you so much. Pleasure for meeting you. So it's such a pleasure. I'll see you. All right. Later. YouTubers, are you still there? You probably went to sleep. All right. I uh, just had a seminar tonight. The next seminar is next month. And I'll be back for that seminar, of course. <clears throat> Please remember to go to the website and read two articles, Satan's Counterattack and How Satan Controls the Mind. You'll need those two articles to fend off his attacks because you'll be hit within 48 hours of this service. He's going to hit you. And try and steal everything you learned tonight and everything you received tonight. He will leave no stone unturned, so you must be ready for that attack. All right? 
You must be ready for that attack. Please watch this seminar over again. I went into many deep issues of the mind, of psychology, of psychiatry, of mental illness. I went into all kinds of deep things tonight. You'll probably have to watch this again. Kelly will have it up on YouTube very shortly. Please remember my Sunday morning podcast at 9 o'clock on twitch.tv. Please remember the Zoom services we have. They're fantastic. Please remember the Children's Deliverance Service coming up on August 3rd. That's a Saturday. If you have a preteen, please bring them for healing or deliverance. This is your opportunity. The Zoom services are Monday night for the ladies, Wednesday night for everybody, Saturday night for everybody. Check it out on the website or my Facebook page, Michael W. Smith. See you next time.